For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem that says the crate has a weight of 550 pounds determine the force in each supporting cable. So basically what you gotta do is uh, always get into the habit of drawing free body diagrams and I'd like to draw the free body diagram of this ring right here. So let's draw the ring and we got a force which is the weight of the crate and then we got the force or tension actually because the cable AC and a tension AB you know that this angle is 30 degrees and you know this triangle to be 3, 4 and 5. Now that you have the free body diagram the problem become, becomes much easier. The first thing you can see is that the sum of the forces in the x is equal to 0 in statics. So you know that negative the tension AB actually when you draw the free body diagram it's a good habit to draw your x and y orientation so the tension a b is going towards the left so it's negative so negative tension a b times the cosine of 30 plus the tension a c times 4 over 5 times 4 over 5 but going on the positive x direction is equal to 0 so you know that negative 0.866 tension AB plus 0.8 tension AC is equal to 0 <coughs> so this is the first formula we're gonna use now to get your second formula we need two formulas because as you can see we have two variables so to get your second formula you know that the sum of the forces in the y direction is equal to zero because this is statics so in the y direction you know that the tension of a b times the sine of 30 so that's this force right here going up plus the tension of AC times 3 over 5 minus 550 is equal to 0. This 550 is the weight. Actually, let me write it down right here because it's given in the problem. So now uh, you have two equations. Actually, let me rearrange this one so it's easier to solve. Tension of AV, sine of 30, plus tension of AC times 3 over 5 is equal to 550. I just put the 550 on the other side. And now you uh, solve sine of 30, which is 0 0.5 tension of AV plus 0.6 tension of AC is equal to 550 so this is our second formula we're going to use so let's call this equation 1 and let's call this equation 2 so we're going to get equation 1 and multiply it by negative 0.6 over 0.8 this is all um, algebra, it's basically how to solve a system of two equations. So by multiplying this equation by negative 0.6 over 0.8, you're going to get that this equation is equal to positive 0.6495 tension of AB minus 0.6 tension of AC is equal to zero 
So as you can see, what we're gonna do right now is add the, the new equation one with the old equation two. So we got positive 0.6 uh, tension AC minus 0.6 tension AC. So these two cancel out. And basically what we're doing is we're adding this up and it comes out to be 1.1495 tension of AB is equal to 550 because 0 0.5 plus 0 0.6495 is 1.1495 and 550 plus 0 is 550 and the, the tensions of AC cancelled out so now we have only one variable and we can solve for it tension of AB is equal to 478.5 pounds so now that we have the tension of AB you can plug it into any formula you want you can plug it into here you plug in the value of tension of AB right here you solve for tension of AC and you're gonna get that tension of AC is equal to 517.9 pounds Final answer, final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.